Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Rule the Waves. So, last episode we uh, started our big, big being in quotation marks, <laughs> final war with Russia, of all people. These backwater, uneducated. people wait we have a security agreement with Italy is that right is that right can I go to Can I go to the Mediterranean? I'm not sure where I can... I mean, I thought maybe if I mouse over that it would tell me something, but <laughs> nope. Anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe it's just a technology sharing. Because I've, I've got, I got nothing. I got nothing! Anyways... So, looks like the Brunt, wait, three battleships, 11 battle cruisers. Russia has a light cruiser here. One AMC in the Caribbean. One destroyer in Northeast Asia. Wait, how much? How much stuff do they have? Three battleships, eleven battle cruisers. Okay, they. Oh my. Oh right, I've got refits going on. All of my capital ships are being rebuilt right now. Awesome. So let's go ahead and... Neat. And unexpected advances in ASW technology. Somebody's got a nice engine on their car. I think. Six for four, we lost four submarines. And five for three with the Russians. Ha ha, Russians lost one of their light cruisers. Oh, okay, so Italy is an ally. Is an ally. In a battle between the Italian and Russian navies, the Russian ship battlecruiser Houghton and the Italian light cruiser Brindisi have been sunk. So, Russia is minus one of their battlecruisers. Okie Medium battle size off of Hawaii. I don't think they really have all of this 
in yeah we'll accept and they declined Yeah, they just have one light cruiser and one destroyer on the west coast. So, that's good. And just one destroyer in Northeast Asia. Russia has one destroyer in Southeast Asia. Now they have three armed merchant cruisers and a destroyer in the Caribbean nothing on the East Coast. Is there a way I could accelerate that? Nope. What about this? Way, well, yes. Yes, you can accelerate construction on on refits. Alaska. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Alaska does. We will be getting our newest Alaska in 12 months. Let's hope the Russians hold out that long. Because I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. Wait, I never did check... Huh. Huh. Russia has a battle cruiser in the Mediterranean. You don't say. I mean, technically, through the Black Sea, Russia does have ports. And the Caspian Sea. And I don't remember the name of this inland sea or is that a lake I don't remember my geography in Central Asia wait I think the Ural Mountains are right here I think Anyways, this is not history class. Our technology sharing agreement with Japan seems to have been a considerable help to their development in AP projectiles. And we sank a minesweeper with a submarine in a gun duel. Neat. Four for two. And enemy submarine torpedoed and sunk one of our minesweepers. Ah, uh, eight for one. And the Russians lost a destroyer in the Mediterranean, I'm assuming. Right, wait, hold on. All right, in service. All of my mine sweepers are old. Crap. Twenty. Okay. Um. Okay. Still coal fired. Three inch guns, two of them. So, if I were to replace the machinery, give it oil. Okay, never mind. 
So we'll just give it a fresh coat of paint. Can we? Nope. Director? Nope. Central? Yep. Which is what it already had, correct? Yep. Okay. Fresh coat of paint it is. And the increased elevation adds nothing to time or cost. So I will do that. I can't put any newer fire controls unless I replace the machinery. I'm not doing that. That's fine. No. Nope. Okay, so... Is it shift or control? I think it's control. Yeah. Time to rebuild... Some minesweepers. A lot of minesweepers. Thirty four ships. <clears throat> and when they come out, I will rebuild the rest of them. Saratoga finished her reconstruction. Jenny has finished reconstruction. And the New Mexico has also finished reconstruction. Um, we should not let them get off lightly. C come on! Large territories and considerable war reparations. Really? Really? Over an 800... 700 point... 700 victory point lead. Okay. So what do we want? We have four. So... Sokolin, that... Is in Northeast Asia. So we'll grab that. Right there. I didn't realize we lost a, uh, or had a, an interned cruiser and destroyer. Well, okay, and holy crap, we are 10 million in the red. All right, so we got ourselves a new, new colony in Northeast Asia. Wasn't that one of my options? I think it was. I mean, I certainly couldn't get Finland. <laughs> Finland was a 10 uh, point purchase. Although, no, I only had, yeah, so Sakhalin. I think that's the correct pronunciation was the only option I could get with four points. And then the rest, I think, went to my budget? Question mark? Anyways, oh, right. All right, who is in Southeast Asia? I have a whole bunch of Warringtons. Location, location, location. And then these minesweepers are now. 
All right, so we no longer have to put any of these on Coastal Patrol, so we will go ahead and rebuild them. Yep. Thank you. And who's in Southeast Asia? Is that it? Wait, who's in... Let's move you guys back home. Um, well, that's not going to be enough. So let's move the gull herder. East Asia, there we go. Yes. Roanoke has finished reconstruction. Constitution. Ranger, California, Wyoming, Nevada. They have all finished their reconstruction two months after the war. Our technology sharing agreement with Japan has been of great benefit to our research and efforts in hull construction. And we are close to mastering oxygen-fueled torpedoes. So, how is our research going? Yeah, we'll just keep the submarines at, at low. Um, I think with the torpedo technology... No, 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 no. I'm going to keep this... Actually, I'm going to bump this up to high. So we have no more ship design tech. We have no more fire control tech. Uh, armor development and... Let's move these to medium. Because it's only October of 1933. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do still have time for one more final foe. So, maybe I can get, get some more tech to help out in a war. Yeah, I'm going to keep the machinery development on low because... Uh... Because, yeah. Anyways. It, uh, to, to design and build an, one more new ship type... Well, capital ship type. Uh, I'm looking at... I mean, hell, if I were to design and build right now... It would be 1936 before it gets finished. So that's a that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Michigan's finished reconstruction and minesweepers. And there was the Texas I saw. Oh, right. We are right here. Type location. Type location. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I think I can keep all of this where they are. All of these where they are. Olympia. Never got a chance to try her out. Uh, 
L for long range, M for mines, and C for colonial. Which I do want to move you back to Southeast Asia. Because for starters, I had to move the Gull Herder to Northeast Asia. More reconstructions. All of them minesweepers? Yes. President wants to hold an international naval gathering with a sailing regatta and competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions, but the money to finance the event will be taken out of the naval budget. Yeah. Wait, does this do tension? This has no effect. <clears throat> Machinery development, turbo electric drive. All right, so we'll have some new kingfishers coming off the slips this turn. Or, I'm sorry, out of dry dock. And then Lexington will finish the reconstruction in two months. Yeah, let's just keep going through these. Dock size increased again. We are now at 68,000 tons. Close to mastering oxygen fuel torpedoes. Hey, what? Quality zero, 18 inch guns. Yes, please. Okay. I take back what I said about not designing another capital ship. Auto generate. So what did you give us? 15 inch guns? 34,800 tons? The fuck? No. Also, 10 guns are nice, but no thanks. Now, this is insanely heavy. Cannot even do it. But, let's see, let's move this and that and make it a triple. No tertiaries. Let's give it. Why was that not checked? Torpedo defensive three. Do I? Well, I do have torpedo defensive four. Give me that. Well, this is kind of starting to look like Tortuga powers. Uh, final in-game dreadnought design. Channel will be linked in the video description, as per usual, if you have not checked out Tortuga Power's channel. The fuck is wrong with you? You need to do that. Like, like get off my bullshit and go check his stuff out. It's much better. Much, much better. He's been doing this a lot longer than I have. And his content is just superb. Oh wait, what? No, clear, clear torpedo mounts. What the fuck? H and I. No. 
Delta and Echo. Yeah, up there. So, this is a, t a lot of ordnance. I could just straight up Yamato the, the ship, which seems really nice. Yeah, that'll do. That is eight five-inch guns per side in four twin turrets, which does not show up. So I bet I can get a few more knots. Holy crap, I can get up to 25 knots on this. And with torpedo defense four, Let's bring the secondaries down a hair, four inches. I can bring down turret tops. Four inches. I think turret thickness is okay. Hell, immune to 18 inch guns out or as close as, I'm going to say 12,500 yards. <clears throat> but once you get within that, it's, it's, it's over. Wow, 37,840 yards for max range. So 16 inches is good for that. Deck armor, though. Holy crap. I need to get that up a little bit. Well, that gave a few extra. Eight inch quads for my secondary armament. Interesting. Whew. I I cannot bring this up even a little bit. Not even a half inch extra. So then Come on, two tons. Why you do this? I can find two tons somewhere. Oh yeah, conning tower. Boom. And I've been using this entire <clears throat> uh, season series testing out armored cruiser guns as secondaries on battleships and yeah, it works so well. But I also give regular sized, regular being in quotation marks, uh, tertiary guns. And that also works out well. Colonial service? Whoa, that... No. <laughs> I go to 51.8. Nope. 51.9. You know, I could just drop the speed and give me whatever the hell I want. I bet we could go up to 14 inches of belt armor. The deck is okay, because I don't really expect too much plunging fire. But, I mean, hell, we're good out to 20,000 yards at 3 inches with these 18-inch shells. 
Hmm. Hmm. Gears are turning. Buffering. So normal accommodation. How much? Nope. Medium range it is. Ah, oh, goodness. 18 inch quality zero guns. I could try, f you know what? I don't think so. I guess just make it 51.8, 51.7, 6. All right, so 23 knots. We did bring the weight down. Still a lot of armor. Torpedo defense of four. Advanced, ooh, rounds per gun. Cheese. So to get an extra 45 shells is 121 tons. I mean, 95 rounds per gun, that is still 95 full broadside salvos. I don't see why it wouldn't work. So I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna leave it. Five inch twin turrets, eight guns per side, tertiaries, nine eight inch guns in triple turrets per side. Kind of decent armor for those. I can imagine they'll get knocked out easily though. And of course, 18 inch triple turrets. Coloriamato. Col Colormato? color motto there we go <laughs> I don't know why that amused me so much but it does <clears throat> the color motto <laughs> featuring nine 18 inch guns yeah why the hell not all okay yeah we'll build just one though Sure. 10 million. And we'll go ahead and accelerate construction on the Kalamato. And then we'll have some Alaskas coming out in a couple of months after a uh, couple of months from now. Let me go ahead and get these two out. And then I'll end the episode. Disarmament conference? Hell no. Unexpected advances in light forces and torpedo warfare, but I, I don't see anything. Mm, no. During maneuvers, one of our ships has opened fire on a fishing boat from Italy. Ah. But we're allied with Italy.
Technology sharing agreement with Japan has been of great benefit to our research efforts in hull construction. And we made unexpected advances in armor development. Nothing tangible. Come on. Yep, we got all the stuff for this. Okay, so I will need to refit the Alaskas when they come out with Advanced Director. So I'll probably end up forgetting that. One of our cruisers has run aground on the shore of a minor nation while performing an illicit intelligence operation. They threatened to impound the ship. What is your reaction? Demand that they release the ship and send a strong squadron to underline the point. Double tension. Who is it going to be with? Germany or Russia? Unexpected advances in subdivision and damage control. Nothing tangible. Come on. Stop asking. Internal upheaval in Mozambique. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there is a chance we can take it over as a colony. Sure. So, we now have to send ships to Mozambique. Right there. Oh. Force requirement is zero. Well, okay then. I guess we don't have to send anything there. And our technology agreement with Japan has expired. And we've got some new mine laying subs. Constellation is commissioned. Sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in military spending. You were asked to advise on how to handle the situation. Um, I'm, I will always and forever keep the population happy. But, I mean, we're still doing good. Ah, I've already beat all these guys, except for Japan. Hmm. Fifteen inch guns. Fifteen inch guns and case mated. These are turreted. Got some old craft. 12 inch guns. The Hie. Ikoma. Once again, 15 inch guns. Nine and a half inch belt. Although, I'm very curious to see what these Sanuki classes are going to be like. 1936. So, they started building this not too long ago. And the Katsuragi should be finished sometime this year. Estimated. Okie dokie. All right, one more month to get the actual Alaska out. Enhances damage from penetrating hits. Nice. It did not, ah, oh, come on. Improved watertight hat, yeah, sure. Go ahead and buy that. Come on. Finally, Jesus. 
interested in buying the rights to super heavy shells. Sure. Okay, so Alaska. Let's go ahead and open this design for a rebuild. Advanced director. We don't have to change a damn thing. Nice. Only quality zero 15 inch guns. Hmm. Directive firing. Okay. Yep. Because you're getting rebuilt. Woo! And Constellation. <laughs> rebuild. Okay, so we are at 41 and a half minutes almost. So I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Um, let me ask you guys, who would you like to see me go to war against uh, for the for the final, final, final foe for this American playthrough? Yeah, force requirement zero. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, um, that, out of all these guys, who, who would you like to see me fight and beat down in the fashion that only an American can? Feel free to, uh, to tell me in the comment section down below. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this episode. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.